Jean, with defence budgets under increasing pressure, how do you see the global market for simulation and training systems? Well, I see the uh, global market for uh, modeling and simulation-based training, uh, which includes both systems and services, for those full solutions uh, to be a bright spot in a, an otherwise gloomy uh, defense industry. Uh, I, I think we bring very distinct benefits, uh, not just for cost avoidance, but really for cost savings. Uh, and in some cases, we're able to provide training experiences that simply cannot be done in an aircraft. Uh, in some cases, the training is more comprehensive, and in almost every case, it's safer. So I think it's easy to portray that value proposition, uh, and, and it makes uh, modeling and simulation-based training uh, a bright spot in the industry. Uh, of course, we're not the only company that knows that, uh, and therefore, uh, it, we're attracting a lot of attention and also a lot of competition right now in the, in the market space. What are the main trends you see that defense customers are asking for with uh, regards to simulation and training? Well, one trend uh, we just mentioned a moment ago is that uh, instead of uh, acquiring a piece of equipment like a full flight simulator or a flight training device, or separately going out and outsourcing a training program uh, or the conduct of a training course. Uh, customers today uh, definitely want their providers to uh, bring them full solutions. We typically think of that as some combination of products and services, uh, but we also enhance that uh, with what we call the science of learning or the science of training. Uh, and that is we look for ways to optimize the training system. Uh, we'll look at which training tasks are best accomplished in the cockpit of an aircraft, which can be downloaded to a, a full flight simulator to make the entire system more efficient. But we'll go further. We'll see that some tasks can be moved out to the desktop or even to some type of self-paced text. So ultimately, we'll try to build some type of optimal system for the customer. The other trades are and trends are a little more technical. Uh, and I think it's what they look for in those full solutions. And, and I refer to them as a solution that has two attributes. First, they want it to be immersive. Uh, there is a, an overwhelming desire to have enhanced graphics, enhanced visuals, and they want the training experience to be as close to the live training experience as possible. Uh, and that, quite honestly, is where we spend most of the time uh, enhancing our offering and investing. The other component, which is very important is that these systems are very well integrated, uh, particularly on, in the defense sector. Uh, so much of the training is tied up not in just training the cockpit crew, but in, in training the entire crew, that integrating the onboard systems is absolutely mandatory. Uh, to go further, there's no platform that fights alone. So our customers are looking for uh, certainly onboard integration between the cockpit and all the onboard weapon and sensor systems. They're looking for platform level integration so uh, platforms can operate in a cooperative en environment. And then finally, we're doing more and more integration uh, between training systems, whether that's air and land or uh, between uh, aviation units so they can work together. Uh, one final example is uh, we recently did an, a, an exercise where we networked together refueling aircraft with tactical aircraft. And in that case, we had the cockpit crew of the refueling aircraft, the boom operators, and also the, the pilots of the tactical aircraft all training together completely in a virtual environment. So I, I think if we can bring these full solutions forward uh, that are both integrated and immersive, I, I think we have something that's, uh, that's really uh, very progressive. There seems to be increasing competition in the simulation and uh, end of the market. So what, what do you say to those people who ask, you know, why CAE? When people ask why CAE, that's exactly where I go. Uh, we're a company that's been in this business for 65 years, and we're a company today that's dedicated to this business. Uh, we don't have any uh, conflicts of interest, uh, and, and with that I mean that we can dedicate ourselves to that value proposition that really optimizes the use of modeling and simulation-based training. Our goal is to look at the entire training enterprise and, and try to optimize it, and a large part of that uh, can be moving training tasks down to the, the simulation or virtual training system. 
The other are some business attributes. We have an absolutely global footprint. Um, our entities are viewed as companies in each of our major regions, whether that be in Canada, the US, uh, Europe, the Middle East, Asia, or Australia. Uh, and, and we have experience that ranges literally hundreds of platforms. Uh, and in many cases, the first platform or first virtual system was built by CAE. So we have the engineering talent to take a platform that's in development or being modified and, and we're able to deliver our systems first time right. So, so we got that track experience behind us and we have hundreds and hundreds of simulators in operation uh, and in many cases uh, those systems and our training centers are our best advertisers. Lord 21, magic. Lord 21, go.